people at this point is the most advanced and powerful traditional CMS on the market. But the market is changing and what is going to be a market leader in the next five to ten years is different than what was a market leader in the last five to ten years. Drupal right now has a huge opportunity to really reinvent and reposition itself to be the leading system of tomorrow as well. Symfony is uh, two different things. First and foremost, this is a set of reusable and cohesive uh, components um, that you can use for your PHP project. Symfony is also a full stack framework um, and a full stack framework means that you have a tight integration between all the components and you don't need to make uh, the glue yourself. We are one of the first big framework to have um, embraced PHP 5.3 and all the namespaces and stuff like that. That's the first point. And the second one is that we have tried to make it uh, really flexible. Uh, I think the second version is really great if you want to create products on top of the framework itself. When we were working on uh, the Whiskey initiative, we had a number of goals. Easier support for web services and being able to build more robust uh, page layouts that could do partial page caching, could do edge site includes, could do aha callbacks in a much more efficient manner. And I think that's a going to be a cultural shift for Drupal but a positive one, and one that we are ready for and will benefit from immensely, which means that enterprise developers uh, coming to Drupal will have an easier time adopting it. Developers coming out of computer science programs will have an easier time adopting it. It means that we can produce smaller pieces in modules that we can assemble Lego style in Drupal in a site and build a more tailored site with less work. People who want to use Drupal as both a content management system and a framework get a stronger underlying foundation for both.